is Mira Hoffman, and in this video I'm going to be going over some great techniques to improve flexibility, as well as um, bringing a focus on to improved concentration. So maybe you're taking a break from work, or um, you're in the middle of studying and you need a little reset, these are going to be some great yoga poses that you can use to help regain focus. So we'll begin by coming to our top uh, the top of our mats. We're just going to go through a little flow to help warm up the body. So standing in Tadasana, feet together, hips tucked. We'll inhale and exhale, bringing our hands into prayer position. Just staying here for a breath and bringing all of our awareness and intention into our body and into this practice right now, letting go of any distracting thoughts or that to-do list. It will be there when you come back. So breathing deeply and sending your sensation and awareness into your feet and toes. We'll kind of lift and splay the toes, bring each one down slowly to the mat. And we'll do the same thing for the heels. So rocking the weight of our feet into the balls and toes and slowly bringing them back into contact with the ground and the mat can rock from side to side and from forward to backwards just letting yourself get nice and grounded here and allowing that grounded connection to extend from the earth from your mat all the way up your legs into your hips into your back into your upper back neck head shoulders hands. From here, let's take another nice deep breath, that full connection. Expanding the lungs with the inhalation. And purging all that stale oxygen out from the lungs as you exhale. On your next inhalation, slowly reaching up gently tilting back as we exhale we'll swan dive forward folding forward allowing the head to hang the arms to hang and bending the knees just letting everything hang from here we're going to inhale and roll right back up tucking the hips bringing the head up last inhaling bringing the arms up and we'll fold again Exhale, swan dive forward. We're opening and strengthening the back. Letting the oxygen and blood come into the head. Inhaling, rolling up once again. Really reaching and expanding the chest open as we lift our hands to the sky. Exhale, folding downward, bending the legs just a little bit and letting the hands come down to the earth. So from here, just staying in Uttanasana, forward bend, letting the head hang as we take some nice deep breaths. Breathing nice and deeply in this forward fold. You can bend the legs as much as you need to bring the palms all the way onto the ground, making full contact. And twisting your head, nodding it, yes or no. Just really trying to loosen those muscles in the neck so we can get some nice blood flow going to the brain, reoxygenating it, bringing some nice nutrients there. Inhale, extending the knees. We'll start to tuck the hips, rolling up once more. And exhale, bringing the hands into prayer position in front of the heart. From here, we're going to step back and come into Warrior Two, Virabhadrasana. So right foot still faces the front of the mat, left foot at a 45 degree angle in. Step as far back as feels comfortable to you so you can take a nice lunge. If you have really wide, flexible legs, you might want to take a deeper um, stance. If you're newer to the practice or maybe not as flexible, that's totally fine. Keep your legs a little bit closer. We'll inhale, bringing the hands up to parallel with the ground. Exhale, bending into that lunge. Now for here, staying with your breath. 
Inhaling as you gaze out past your front fingertips, imagining you're sending your energy towards that goal, wherever it is, all the way out in the universe, we are warriors in our practice. Inhaling deeply, feeling nice and strong. Exhale, letting yourself sink a little bit further. Continue to breathe with awareness and focus. Inhaling nice and deeply. Exhaling, allowing your body to soften, the face to soften, the neck and shoulders to relax, the shoulders dropping away from the ears. Nice, strong, engaged base here with your legs. Inhaling deeply, feeling your feet connected with your mat. And exhaling, softening. On our next inhale, we'll push and extend that right leg turning the feet so now I'm facing the left toes towards the back of my mat right toes are at about a 45 degree angle inhale sweeping the arms up we'll exhale bending towards the left knee again allowing the shoulders to float away from the ears breathing nice and slow conscious breaths As you exhale, you're welcome to sink in a little bit deeper. Allowing your face to soften, gaze is past the fingertips, imagining we're sending our energy with focus and intention out to the universe. Last exhale here. Push our legs straight and walk our feet or twist them back towards the center. Extending from that sort of balanced focus we had in Warrior, we're going to come into Garudasana, which is Eagle Pose. So, inhaling and lifting the right leg up off the ground, we're going to twist it around our left. We'll do the same but opposite with our arms. So I'm gonna wrap my right arm under the left, bringing the palms together. From here, you can sit down into the pose, or perhaps this is a bit challenging for you and you wanna give yourself a little kickstand so you can slightly unwind your legs, bringing the right toes to the outside of the left foot. So either keeping the toes tucked or giving yourself a little kickstand and really focusing on squeezing the legs and squeezing the arms together. This is fantastic for balance and focus. You've got all your limbs really activated here. And also it's helped squeezing your lymph nodes. So helping boost your immunity by recirculating those blood cells, those white blood cells. We'll inhale and come out, splaying out like an eagle. Re exhale, bring your hands down, and we'll verse, reverse the pose. Balancing into the right foot this time, we'll slightly sit down as we wrap the left foot around. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, left hand goes under and around the right. It helps to have a point of focus that is still to gaze at, so you may look past at the wall or a fixed object to send your concentration and awareness to. You You'll also notice that this is opening the back of your shoulders, giving a nice counter stretch to that area. Two more deep breaths here. Letting yourself ground down into your feet or your foot. 
And on your last inhalation, we'll fly out like an eagle. And exhale, coming back to center. And we'll come down to do a nice balancing pose on our hands. And all these balancing poses are just giving your mind an opportunity to bring its awareness into one focus point. So Kakasana, Crow Pose. I'm going to turn this way. That might be easier for y'all to see. So bringing the hands in front of you, splaying out the fingers nice and wide. So my hands are about shoulder width apart. Taking a nice deep breath here. If you're new to the pose, try just slowly shifting your weight forward. So you don't want to have a lot of momentum going into this because you're going to want to fall forward. Maybe it feels comfortable to do one toe off the ground at a time or one foot off the top. And you can slowly rock back and out. I'm going to do that one again because I'm sure for those following along, especially if this is your first time trying crow, it might be a little confusing or hard to pick up. So again, fingertips splayed out. My hands are about shoulder width apart. I'm going to walk my feet towards my arms and I'm going to bend my arms so my knees make this nice little shelf or my elbows make this nice little shelf for my knees. I'm slowly shifting my weight into my hands. My gaze is out in front. Nice deep breaths here. Feeling the balance point. Maybe it's a dynamic balance. You're moving a little bit or maybe you fall down. That's okay. And slowly coming back to your feet. You can do a nice little counter stretch for the wrists by bringing them together, the backs of the hands, and rotating them forward and out. Just giving them a nice little relaxation. Some people, it feels really good to compress around the wrists with your hands. Taking a nice moment to give some self-care to your wrists. So those are some of the more active poses that we're going to do to help with balance and flexibility and concentration. And now I want to invite you to join me for a couple rounds of pranayama. Pranayama helps clear the mind, so we're creating a nice flexible mind, a nice balanced mind will help prepare you to be concentrated and focused on the work that you have ahead of you. So getting nice and comfortable, you can set um, either just like traditional cross-legged or kind of easy pose if you want to tuck the legs in um, or if you can do lotus or half lotus, you're welcome to do that as well. Our left hand is just going to rest on our knee. You can bring the first finger and thumb together, palms up or down, whatever feels comfortable for you. And then we're going to come to bring the forefinger and middle finger into our palm. And we're going to use our thumb and our ring finger to alternately close off the right and left nostrils. So this is called Nadi Shodhana or Anuloma Viloma. So we'll close off the right nostril and inhale, om one, om two, om three, om four. 
close both nostrils using your ring finger. Hold the breath. Om one, om two, om three, om four. And exhale right by releasing the thumb. Om one, om two, om three, om four. Inhale right. Om one, om two, om three, om four. Close both nostrils and hold. Om one, om two, om three, om four. Release the left ring finger. Exhale, om two, om three, om four. Inhale, left, om one, om two, om three, om four. Close and retain, om one, om two, om three, Om four, exhale right, releasing the thumb. Om one, om two, om three, om four. Inhale right, om one, om two, om three, om four. Retain, and you can close your eyes at any time throughout this practice. Om four, release the left. Om one, om two, om three, om four. Slowly bring your right hand down, letting your eyes go soft or closing them. So allowing yourself to absorb that exercise that we just did. You can close the eyes or soften the gaze and just allow yourself to breathe naturally. So no control of the breath, just letting it gently come in and out. Nadi Shodana is really good for balancing the brain, the right and left sides, through that breath work of each nostril. And you may have noticed one side was a little bit easier to breathe through than the other, and that's totally natural. As you sit here with your awareness on your breath, again, no control, just watching the ebb and flow. Allow your mind to drift. No control, just like watching a silent film pass on the movie screen. Body is relaxed and softened. Your mind is relaxed and soft. Your only awareness rests on the breath. Riding the wave of that inhalation and exhalation. into the room. I invite you to favorite this video so you can come back and watch it again when you need a little stress break. And thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Mira Hoffman and you can find out more about me and my practice at mirahoffman.com. And subscribe to the Psyche Truth YouTube channel. We have thousands of videos to help empower you in your journey in health and wellness. Thank you and namaste.